Are you looking for options to beat the summer heat? Well, you aren't alone. According to a BC Hydro study released in 2020, air conditioner use has tripled in the province since 2001. What type is best for you? We took a look at a range of options. BC Hydro says portable AC units are the most popular in the province. They're more convenient because they can be wheeled from room to room, but they're typically more expensive to purchase and operate. The average price for a portable unit ranges from $400 to $800. BC Hydro says running one for about 12 hours a day will cost about $1.50 a day or $45 a month. Many people, especially in the Lower Mainland, use multiple portable units, uh, which could actually mean uh, higher energy costs. Another option is window AC units. These devices sit in a window frame and pump hot air out and cool air in. You may not be able to move them as easily, but they typically cost you less. The average price for a window unit ranges from $300 to $700. A window unit for the same amount of time, 12 hours in a day, uh, over a month in the summer, uh, costs about $20 a month. The AC unit may not fit perfectly inside your window, so it's best to measure the frame ahead of time. Buyers may need to purchase wood planks or other materials to fill in gaps of space so the AC unit doesn't fall out of the window. If you're a homeowner who isn't afraid to break the bank, you may consider installing a central air conditioning system, a mini split air conditioner, or a heat pump, which can also be used in the winter to warm your home. Some other things you may want to keep in mind before you purchase an AC unit are making sure your home is well insulated and considering the size of the room you want to cool down. If you're using a portable unit or you're using a window unit, make sure it's not too big for your dwelling or else you could be wasting energy. And if it's too small, uh, you won't be seeing those, those benefits. You won't be feeling the cool air. It's also recommended that apartment dwellers check their building regulations before buying anything. Ashley Moliere, CBC News, Burnaby.